Money bag. Money bag. Yeah. Who be that? Mami o. Ah. Aye day. Aye day. We could us no day. We could us no. We could us no day head office today. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the Shide branch office. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I think help you. Eh, uh, I get question. What I want to ask you. Ah, uh, you get question. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hi, so what will be the question? Okay, I want to ask you, what is the meaning of um, having faith in God? As in, what, what does it mean for someone to have faith in God? Okay, that is having faith in God. Uh, okay, hmm. before I ask you, answer your question, eh? mm -hmm. let, me ask you, uh, let me ask you one question. Okay, let us. Hmm. Do you know the highest prophecy in this world? Mm, the highest prophecy? Na yeah. Bible na? Na Bible, right? Eh. Um, yes, you are correct. Because if you look at what is happening now in this world, hmm, mm. you will see that they are all what the Bible said thousands of years ago. They are happening now. So you are correct by saying that the Bible is the highest prophecy in the world. Hmm? Mm. And uh, you know that the Bible is full of the Word of God. You know that. Exactly. So which means all those prophecies are the Word of God, right? That will prove to you the existence of that supreme being called God. And that is why it is important. Even the devil himself knows that it is very important for you to have faith in God. Now let me tell you the meaning of that faith in God, as you ask. Having faith in God, means to me oh i don't know to you to me it means when you believe completely when you have a hundred percent belief without any doubt without a single doubt that everything that happens in your life every addition every subtraction that occurs in your life It is only God that has the power to do that. Only God. What did I say? Only God. God. If you believe that it is only God that has that power to alter anything in your life or to keep your life constant without any change, then you have faith in God. I don't know if you understand me. Okay. Now, there are, unfortunately, there are some of our brothers who keep a little um, juju in the house and go to church. And if you ask them, they say they have faith in God. Maybe they have 70% faith in God and 30% faith in that their, um, little thing that they, they have in the house. Don't deceive yourself. Do not deceive yourself, I'm begging you. God is not that kind of God. Except you have another God that you are talking about. But if it's this supreme God in heaven, he is a jealous God. If you want to have faith in Him, please, oh, have faith in Him. And leave any other thing. Don't tie anyone here. Or put any, something here and say you have faith in God, that God understands. It's a lie. Some of us deceive ourselves that um, with uh, the aid of uh, all these uh, oracles, these shrines, that the shrine would take your prayer to God. <laughs> oh, I say. There is nothing like that. Hmm? The ultimate shrine that will take your prayer to God is His Son Jesus Christ. I know maybe some of you don't have the clear interpretation of true um, the way, the truth, and the life. Through me, you see the Father. Jesus Christ is no say true, I don't say oracle. So please, um, uh, the, your question is very vital. But tell people. Tell those people who have little little juju in their house that uh, if you ask them, they say through the juju, you the juju will take their prayer to God. It's a lie. Oh. You don't have any faith in God if you are embarking on that. If you go to traditional doctors to seek for power, God does not give anybody power to give to you. Seek power from God through His Son Jesus Christ. And God will, if, if your hands are clean, oh, 
God will certainly provide that power to you. So if you have faith in God, to wrap it up, if you have faith in God, nurture the belief. Nurture that belief completely, 100%, that it is only God that has the power to do anything for you, anything at all, and nothing else but God. So, um, I don't quote Bibles. I have Bible. I already read them, I don't quote them, so I, I, I don't think I will quote one for you now. But, um, hear my words and do something with it. Thank you. So, um, I'm very happy you visited me today. I don't have color. This is my head office. My head office don't even, doesn't even have an address. So, I think next time if you come here and don't see me, you can subscribe on this man home. Hmm? If you subscribe to this man home, we'll always present to you something like this. Thank you. God bless you. Do you have any other question? Next time. All right, next time. Next time.